duplicolor. Basically, this right here is exactly what you're supposed to use it for. No big scratches, just the little small ones. Hey guys, this is my car repair channel. Back at you with another video. It's going to be a little different video. So, this is going to show you how not to uh, use the Duplicolor paint pen. You're probably watching this because you're thinking about using the, the, the paint pen on your vehicle. But, uh, you just watch it till the end. You'll see that it didn't really work out so well. I'm not sure if it was because the scratch was too deep or I didn't apply it right. I It seemed that I uh, followed the directions like on point, like step by step, but it still didn't really work out. So uh, I'm not saying don't use Duplicolor. I'm not saying that Duplicolor is a terrible product. Just uh, be careful when you use it and uh, just be educated. And when I mean be educated, just make sure you do your research. I'd recommend to uh, definitely not go cheap on this if you're trying to fill in a scratch or uh, fix a dent or scratch or a rust spot in your car. It's probably better just to spend two, three hundred dollars and do it right than uh, try to go cheap like I did here and uh, go the cheap route and do it yourself. Um, if you do it right, here's the, the color codes right here. You can see uh, CTR and ATM, meaning trim. Uh, just make sure you match it up. Mine was A056 for this Toyota. I had to call, I think I called Duplicolor. I called some of the uh, auto, auto body places like AutoZone and uh, Advanced Auto Care, O'Reilly's. Um, so first off, I clean the spot of any grease and stuff. Just put alcohol in a uh, little wash pad here and then washed it and dried it. So back to my point about doing it right, doing the job right. Uh, first off, probably if you're not too sure, take it to the uh, dealership or any type of auto detailing uh, place. Spend a couple hundred dollars, get it done right if you're very particular. Um, which I, in hindsight I probably should have done. I just went cheap and bought a little uh, something. I think this was about $15-$20. And uh, I thought this would be a nice quick fix, but I think my two main mistakes were I did not buy a, I think the scratch was too deep and I didn't buy a filler. Probably should have filled the scratch in before I painted over it because I st as I started putting the paint on, the, uh, the scratch was, or the, the dent was still noticeable. So here in the background, I'm just uh, getting the rust out with that little uh, piece that they had on the, the pen. I took the... Uh, the rust remover cap off and then here's the little paint pen uh, ballpoint uh, shake it up no it's well it's not a ballpoint it's a uh, you kinda push it in and the paint comes out shake it up uh, keep pushing and the paint will start to come out So I decided the little paint tip wasn't really working for me, so I tried the paintbrush, and uh, I figured just add 
lot, loads of paint to be able to fill the the hole in but what I didn't realize was when you put a lot of paint on the paintbrush it starts getting on the side and then it once it dries it leaves like a, a large bump uh, of uh, globs of paint so that's where the sanding comes in so I start filling it in it actually doesn't look too bad there but I think I went a little overboard on it so what I did is uh, I think I took the wet rag and I smoothed it out but when I smoothed it out, the, the little crack or the little rust line was still there. So I think I did a couple applications just to try to fill the line in. You can see right here after a few applications, that line's pretty noticeable and I was trying to get that, that line to basically just disappear. So in hindsight, I don't really think Dupacolor was the thing I should have been using for this type of scratch. Like I showed in the beginning of the video, I think it was maybe just for little nicks and uh, little chips uh, in the unnoticeable areas that would help uh, stop any further rusting or uh, anything like that like around the door edges and stuff but here's I think where I made another mistake I uh, I was filming with uh, the left hand and sanding with the right and I think I should have uh, kept a constant stream of uh, water on the sandpaper instead of letting it go dry as I uh, as I started to grind out the uh, the paint the extra excess paint so I know it's not best of quality this is I was hesitating actually putting this video up I did this a couple months ago and uh, this is before I understood how to film on an iPhone and I was filming vertical instead of horizontal so uh, that's another mistake so you can kinda see there's a little hazy mark uh, about an inch or two off the the uh, the scratch and here it just looks terrible so to finish it off I put two or three coats of uh, turtle wax on it um, just to maybe help it a little but Toyota 4Runner still looking pretty good uh, thanks for watching hopefully this gave you guys a little idea of what not to do. Thanks for watching.